there is a place and a portion for you in destiny every name you see in the bible is not just the name of a believer the names you see recorded in the bible are spiritual pathways that produce certain kinds of believers that make up this army welcome to today's enlightening session in this video we delve into profound insights shared by Apostle Joshua Selman as he guides Christians on recognizing the signs that indicate the unfolding of their divine calling. Join us as we explore the transformative teachings that will inspire and empower you on your spiritual journey. Apostle Joshua Selman's wisdom is set to illuminate your path and help you discern the subtle yet significant indicators that you are stepping into your destined purpose. Stay tuned to uncover the profound truths that can reshape your understanding of calling and destiny. Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. It's training you is that you will find a parallel to what you are becoming in scripture. Just because I am spiritual does not mean I can raise every army to go. No, no, no. There is an allocation given to me based on the election of grace of the kind of people I can train. If I insist on training Joseph, I may produce someone else who may not be a king in Egypt. One of your first assignments is to discern where God is taking you so that you know where to submit yourself for training. Every day, I keep seeing the formation is happening. There is a spirit driving that formation that cannot be stopped by any man. The training of Elijah is not the training of Esther, but it's still the same God training them. We are trusting God for an emergence of Esther's. The assignment of Esther Esther is similar to the assignment of Jezebel. Jezebel is a corruption of the Esther pattern because both Jezebel and Esther only function when they get to the palace. Let me show you what I just said. We're a generation that is obsessed about proof. God is depending on you to take his resurrection power to the nations. Will you fail if it depends on you? If you came here for this conference tonight, I want you to know that you did not just come. It's a solemn assembly. It's a clarion call from the Spirit. It's a sign that there is a place for you in this prophetic program. When I sat back there, all through the ministration, you saw me just sitting quietly. These were the contemplations in my heart. Every day, I keep seeing the formation is happening. Yes. After four months come the harvest. It may not look like it, but from Lagos to Abuja to Jos to Ghana, we are beginning to see the formation. There is a spirit driving that formation that cannot be stopped by any man. No, I will build my church. Some of you are here. The quickening of the spirit is what brought you here. And whilst you are seated, very shortly in a few minutes, we are going to allow that wind. There is a quickening. There is a quickening. Listen. There is a place and a portion for you in destiny. Let me say something that may bless you. Every name you see in the Bible is not just the name of a believer. The names you see recorded in the Bible are spiritual pathways that produce certain kinds of believers that make up this army. Did you hear what I just said? So when you say Abraham, Abraham is not just the name of a man. Abraham is the name given to a certain spiritual pathway that if followed will produce a certain kind of warrior. Esther is not just the name of a woman who married a king. Esther is a description of a way the Holy Spirit can produce champions out of men one of the ways you know that it is God who is training you is that you will find a parallel to what you are becoming in scripture so you can begin your work with God and later find out that Esther is becoming even though your name may be Yemisi but in the training of the spirit you are finding out that Esther is evolving from that training Abraham is evolving from that training you see that now Elijah is evolving from that training. Peter, the training of Elijah is not the training of Esther, but it's still the same God training them. We are not doing a pastor's conference here, but let me teach you this. One of your first assignment is to discern where God is taking you so that you know where to submit yourself for training. Because if Elijah mentors Esther, Esther will be called Elijah, not Esther. Are we together now? It matters who midwives you're becoming. Just because I am spiritual does not mean I can raise every army to go. No, no, no. There is an allocation given to me 
based on the election of grace of the kind of people I can train if I insist on training Joseph I may produce someone else who may not be a king in Egypt hmm. let's leave this one for I'm sure maybe another pastor's call. but this night our assignment is to contend to come into the fullness of that resurrection power the reason why Ruth became Ruth was because of the counsel and the mentorship that came from Naomi the pain of Naomi was part of the, the, the dimension she got the wisdom to advise Ruth you cannot train Ruth until you have lost to a certain degree there is a level of compassion that only comes I hope you know that not every pain is a loss there is something in the spirit called the gift of pain now most believers will not want to hear this this teaching you are hearing is not for babes there is a dimension of pain that comes to you as a gift from God <laughs> We'll find somewhere to pray an angel comes to meet a young virgin and she says you are highly favored go and read your Bible show me anything there that looks like our description of favor and then highly on top of it you show me what about Mary's life and Johnny demonstrates favor she didn't even write any book and at the end she had to submit on the day of Pentecost as if she was not his mother no extra privilege was given she had to join them with humility to be filled with the holy ghost so what is the favor about you will understand another side of favor when you get to heaven you see you will know that what we call scars are blessings in the spirit so the bible says i reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed listen there is a clarion call that can be made in destiny and only men who have pain and a certain scar will file up if you are too innocent and void of certain scars you cannot mentor a generation you will be too innocent and you will not be able to Help those under the anointing. I see a wind just moving right now. This is what I see. Wind blowing. Can I tell you? Huh. Jesus did not just die. He was pierced across many places. And the blood that flowed from him flowed through the pain. It was not only the blood that flowed. There are many other things that flow from it. I'm digressing by the spirit to tell someone. Everything that has happened in your life that looks like a disappointment. There is a track record in the spirit you are building. This is the reason why when we do not understand God, we say God is greater. Though he slay me. Why did my loved one die? Though he slay me. Why did I lose out in the business? How are you preparing for a conference that is so spiritual with prayer investments and within two hours, it is so gutted by fire. Where were the angels that keep watch over the saints? It is only foolish people that think like that. In the economy of heaven, the way testimonies are built is like the way food is prepared you don't carry a whole yam from the farm and throw it in the pot you slice it if you see someone slicing chicken and yam it does not look pleasant keep being patient <laughs> Listen. let me show you what i just said we are a generation that is obsessed about proof. Philippians 3 and verse 10. I just sense in my spirit, we are going to pray. Honestly, I still see this wind blowing. There are people who came here. There is a portion for you in prophecy. And there are mantles. Mantles, graces. You may be ordinary. Finally, that grace finds you. And turns you into a mighty warrior. 
let's read together that i may know him what do i need to know about him number one the power of his resurrection number two hold on hold on he did not say his suffering he said the fellowship what is the fellowship of his suffering the sharing it is a there is a kind of honor that god gives men by allah oh dear it's called the fellowship of his suffering there are seven crowns that will be given to the saints in revelation one of it is called the matthias crown not everyone gets that not every believer gets that the matthias crown is a testimony of their resilience hebrews 11 the bible says others died rejecting an opportunity to be delivered because they look forward to a better resurrection resurrection gives every believer in Christ hope beyond death hope beyond the grave the resurrection the resurrection you lost your mother and the Spirit of God is telling me to tell you this six point is for you this is what I'm hearing in my spirit your mother went to be with the Lord a woman who loved God and was a woman of prayer and since she died you have been crying you have been wounded the Lord is saying I should tell you this is the answer to the prayer that the consciousness of the resurrection watch this now it gives every believer in Christ hope beyond death hope beyond the grave hope beyond death can can I tell you when we press for long life it's not because of the fear of death is to give us an opportunity to serve the purposes of God long enough but whether in life or death we have assumed a status that is always victorious hope beyond the grave <laughs> though our outward man perish the inward man is renewed it is the reason why we spend our lives and we are spent for him listen I come from the north and there is an indoctrination that is given to ex especially extremist sects the moment you recruit them it is not their assignment to teach them it is the worth of spending yourself and being spent it becomes a joy the moment the first assignment that produces terrorists is to let them see that death is profitable not killing their own death so the first assignment is to indoctrinate them to come to a point where they are comfortable and look forward to it and a man who does not fear death is a dangerous man are we together yeah so a man will look at you to your face and while you are talking you don't know me i will call my father and he said you are nonsense i'm already a dead man you are speaking rubbish <laughs> an army stands with a gun and say you will die and they laugh while they are blowing them up they have no fear of it the resurrection power teaches us that the frame of our living is not confined to the three-dimensional realm here's how the apostle puts it for me to live is Christ and then he says to die how do you call death gain why have you been calling it loss the one you pray for and you say recover from cancer I declare the healing power of Jesus let it come upon you when the person died you said God why yet you call death gain do you cry when you gain talk to me every businessman looks forward to gain profit is the is largely the intent behind the business mm. someday one glorious morning maybe while some of us are on crusade grounds and all of us are having conferences like this there will be a massive activity upon the earth in a moment the bible says in the twinkling of an eye the only thing that will be left is this bible produced by zonderman will be gone then we will have the privilege to be joined 
we will see men who we read about <laughs> i will see my grandfather who labored for the gospel till he died we will have the privilege of seeing people today and there will be a glorious reunion thanks to the resurrection we live our lives void of fear because we already know the end of all things it is not a call to careless living no we have a responsibility to contend for longevity to give this body the time to host our spirits while we serve god but at the back of it the believer is always in advantage did you hear what i'm saying this is very important most christians don't want to hear what i just said now you say no 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 rather reject it i will reject it but behind in the next 10 20 years there will be a transition in the church in africa it's true if christ tarries a time will come too they will call us fathers and whether you like it or not our children will edit what today we know and call revelation then if christ tarries one day we will stand and look at earth having conquered nations and territories spending our lives and having been spent for his majesty we will stand and with the salute of a warrior hmm. till he returns or calls me home here in the love of christ till he returns or calls me home it's here in the love hear me what is your response i'm wrapping up what is your response to all that you have heard today number one god is depending on you to take his resurrection power to the nations will you fail if it depends on you will you fail if it depends on you acts chapter 4 and verse 33 with great power gave the apostles witness the witness does not have to be on the pulpit the witness for some of us will be in administration will be in business I preached a message called redefining the coming revival the revival that is coming will not happen the way we expect there will be many disappointments because our expectation in the coming revival is that Elijah is coming it is not Elijah alone who is coming the revival will bring Esther the revival will bring Nehemiah the revival will bring Ruth the revival will bring David make sure you don't throw away David because you are only looking for Elijah there will be a formation of an army distributed by the wisdom of God others will go to commerce and the economy bringing for us the wealth that funds the end time program we must trust God to bring us to a point of economic empowerment where men become like nations our orientation has changed it is not carnality it's an orientation that is derived from passion to see his kingdom come so we are not apologetic about contending for kingdom wealth God has purified our orientation we understand the true purpose and value for money so among the many blessings I'll pray for you is financial increase if you like receive it if you like don't receive it unapologetically as part of the tools required for kingdom come hallelujah we are preparing for a conference and when they send the bills minus insurance i said ah god why now why why is the church like this all this unnecessary prayer can be solved when the right witnesses in the marketplace arise every time god's people focus on god satan will manipulate the economy to distract their concentration when jesus was teaching the man in power sent people to come and challenge him in the area of finances you are teaching and yet you've not paid your task jesus did not say leave me alone he said no the way to find peace on earth is to give to caesar what belongs to caesar 
but if you don't have what to give to caesar it will interrupt your fellowship with god are we together will you serve god better if you stop paying rent and get into a house that can give you peace you can shut down for three days do you think it's the will of god hallelujah we are trusting god for an emergence of esthers women who will the assignment of esther is similar to the assignment of jezebel jezebel is a corruption of the esther pattern because both jezebel and esther only function when they get to the palace Jezebel is a spirit that cannot function until she sits with people in power. Her assignment is to manipulate those who control territories and domains. It's not a woman, it's a pattern. The same way Esther is beyond a woman, a little slave girl exalted by the spirit. The only warrior in the book of Esther never took a sword, yet her man died never took a sword yet the purposes of god were preserved i'm saying that because someone that is your assignment so the masters and phd you are getting is not a waste it is an esther formation that is the disadvantage of everyone being trained by elijah elijah does not have the ointment to give esther no it is he guy the keeper of the king's virgins He's the one who gives the oil she keeps rubbing to be accepted by Ahasuerus. Now you read your Bible from the lens of prophecy and all you will see is the blueprint of the prophetic army. So when you see a training happening somewhere beyond your scope of grace, you don't fight it. You appreciate that formation while focusing on your own. Are we? Naomi is as valuable as, as Elijah in training Ruth and in training Elijah the charismatism may differ but do not reject Naomi's advice you may be corrupting the race that bets Jesus <laughs> one of the things that God is restoring in the body of Christ I didn't have time to teach that one of the ways we access this power is through the mystery called humility is very few people in the body of Christ are truly humble and it is a weakness in our human nature it has nothing to do with being good or bad it is a weakness enshrined in human nature do you know why because the average person who grew in Africa has been wounded emotionally we will not admit it but the average upbringing the upbringing of the average African is in despair complex so when we evolve the pressure you see we mix our weaknesses and limitations with the operation of the soul of, of the holy spirit and make it look as if he's the one making us behave like that is a lie the character of the christ has been vetted and proven from scripture are we together now yes so a man who came from a background where he had to struggle to eat the day he makes his first hundred million he will rub it on any face he sees and if that happens to be your face sorry for you are we together now he's rubbing it on your face is as a, a false way of trying to be healed from the limitations of yesterday the cure is the understanding of your positional advantage that we are called sons of god is a noble position no other honor is greater than that perhaps if there is any honor that comes close to that is being called a friend of God hmm. because the advantage of a friend of God is number one access to the secrets of God number two God will never allow you delve to perdition he would rather cut short your life it is the honor as a friend of God let's pray holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our god holy holy blessed is he 
who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Prayer point number one. Father, the grace to walk in your resurrection power, I receive it right now. Go ahead and pray. Someone is praying. The grace. Go ahead and pray. I desire to walk in your resurrection power. Take a minute to pray. This is the generation that seeks your face, O God of Jacob. Hallelujah. enjoyed watching our videos we truly do hope that you were blessed please do well to subscribe to our youtube channel turn on the notification button so you are always notified whenever we post inspiring and amazing content like this do well to follow us up on our social media handles on facebook instagram tiktok thank you so much